welcome back to my channel you guys let's make cold brewed coffee I'm using a light roast from Starbucks and ask your barista to grind it coarsely like for a French press I poured 8 ounces of coffee and I'm also adding 6 cups of filtered water I know I just showed 4 cups but I actually used 6 Next, you want to get your ground coffee nice and wet, mixing slowly. Now we're going to cover it and let it rest and infuse for 16 to 24 hours. You want to give it plenty of time to slowly infuse and develop in flavor. So our cold brew coffee has been sitting inside my fridge for 24 hours and it's been covered. So this is what it looks like. All of the liquid has been absorbed. So now what we're going to do is grab a measuring cup, a big one, or I have another bowl and then you want a fine mesh sieve because we're going to strain our coffee and we're going to drain all of the water twice and I'm using two of them because mine is not fine mesh so I'm putting one instead of the other in hopes that it's gonna be a better drain. Now I'm filtering my coffee infusion for the first time into the strainer making sure I pour all of the wet coffee grinds. Don't push the coffee grinds down though because if you do, you will extract its bitterness from the coffee. So you just want to let it drip naturally and slowly about 5 minutes. So now we're going to drain it once again just to make sure there's no little crumbly um, coffee grinds. To filter our coffee for the second time, I'm using these coffee filter sheets. They are bigger, but any regular filters will do. You want to get the filter wet so that when the filtering of our coffee happens for the second time, it doesn't absorb too much liquid and possibly spill. Now I'm just going to use a funnel and a glass container for storing my concentrate. You can actually see how vital it is to filter it the second time because of that sediment left behind that we don't want. And we are just gonna keep pouring until it's all done. And here is our concentrate. When you are ready to serve it, dilute it with water to a one to one ratio. Cold brewed coffee is different from iced coffee. The way it's brewed develops a natural aroma with no bitterness and acidity. It slowly infuses into the water and it steeps beautifully soft flavors of caramel notes so you can drink it unsweetened. You can also add a splash of almond milk or even serve it hot. But for this recipe, we need it black. We are also going to need butterfly pea flower tea. I found this box on Amazon and I will link the product on the description box below. This tea has really soft flowery notes and I just love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. You want to steep your tea for 5 minutes with hot water and then we're going to let it cool for this recipe. Also for this recipe, we are going to add some sweetener to this tea. So you don't need to overcomplicate this recipe, you can actually go buy your cold brewed coffee at the grocery store and you can buy your favorite lemonade at the grocery store too. But I already had lemons on hand and I thought it would be great to just do some freshly squeezed lemonade for this recipe. Now with all my ingredients on hand, I'm going to start assembling this beautiful drink. So first I'm adding the butterfly pea flower tea and look at those vibrant blue colors. Next, my freshly squeezed lemonade. And when you mix these two together, the acidity of the lemonade turns the drink into this beautiful pink and purplish hues. Now we're gonna top it off with our cold brewed coffee. And just as a tip, after doing this drink over and over again for pictures and close-ups, I found out that just adding a splash of cold brewed coffee is a perfect mixture. Overall, I thought this drink was gorgeous and the flavors were really interesting. 
I would rather just have the butterfly pea flower tea with the lemonade. That is gold, you guys. It's magic. It's so yummy. But you can also just add, like I said, a splash of cold brewed coffee for some interesting flavors. Interesting. <laughs>